This keyboard is great for gamers as it has 0% dead zone and 0.1mm key activation as it has magnetic switches. This keyboard is also wickedly fast as it has 8000kHz speeds. The only problem I have is it does have great ergonomics just standard like this. But the only thing that I can really complain about this budget keyboard is that it's, it's not adjustable. Uh, for the ergonomics which it has these nice rubber feet so it doesn't slide around as easy unless you really want to move it like I put some force on that but the ergonomics are good it's just you can't change it unless you put something underneath it or that so the only complaint I have is that it's not adjustable it is a great 75% keyboard and it's just it's just great all around other than you can't really put any feet up and that as I'm used to with other keyboards for the ergonomics. This keyboard also sounds amazing for gamers that are wanting to do streams and stuff as it is quiet but creamy. Uh, it's really surprising for magnetic switches as just, just like this just sounds amazing. Well, obviously, because it's 0.1 millimeter activation, you don't even have to press the key that far for it to activate. As I'll show you with the caps, because it has uh, light up when you touch. It activated then. I didn't even mean to do it. So, literally, that is that is all you need to activate this keyboard. I have also used the rapid trigger setting on this keyboard. It works works really well, but it's not useful for games like Fortnite and stuff. But it'll be useful for. CSGO and stuff like that as you can put it on certain keys that you want the rapid trigger to be on so for like um, for like if you want to just strafe you just have it as A and D so you barely have to do it so you can just strafe really easy and now I'm going to talk through how to set up the software so all you need to do to download the software is go over to your browser type type in Attack Shark. It, br it brings up um, this. You want to click the driver download, and it should ask you what your keyboard is. And for you guys, because you're uh, searching up a review for this keyboard, you should just type in X68, and it should be this keyboard here. You download uh, the software driver for Windows 10. And then it should come up with this. You just download it. As you can see, I've already downloaded this. And you just accept the terms or conditions, and that should just work. Should just work straight away for you guys. And then once you guys have downloaded the driver, it should show you something looking like this. And to change your keystroke activation, you just go to stroke settings. You can turn on this key test, it's a really good feature, the simulation thing, so you know how far you're pushing down your key. And this tells you what key you're activating. And make sure to have, you can do this to highlight all buttons, or you can just click this here. And you can change the up and down. This is the rapid trigger setting. Uh, I've only used it a little bit, don't know too much about it, so you can fiddle around with this as much as you like. But this is how you set your activation. And then for dead zone, you just make sure you have all keys activated. So all keys highlighted even. And you can just change it as much as you please. But I I prefer the zero. Right, now going on to how to change your light settings. All you do is you go to light settings. And you can change it from always on you can change the colour that it's always on, you can have it a drift, breathing, spectrum cycle, and wave ripples. Now I'm just gonna show you these different settings now. This is the drift setting on the keyboard. As you can see it just drifts just like that. You can change the colour by clicking here. Let's just make it white. And then it drifts with a white, as you can see. 
the always on you can select whatever color you want or you can make it dazzle so it's just stuck as that dynamic breathing breathes into different colors or you can just select whatever color you want up here now wave ripple is the interesting one so you can have it on the dazzle mode and as you tap it lights up with different colors or you can just change to whatever color you want i'll do red and then it lights up as red now i, I do like all the lighting settings but they could have done a little bit more with the lighting settings they kind of didn't add too much to play with here the attack shark x68 hd is one of the best budget keyboards out for the price so guys that is the full review of the attack shark x68 he put down in the comments if this made you want the keyboard or not want the keyboard and just give me pointers out for next up and coming reviews that i will do on keyboards and stuff